All right, here's the frequency that this little uh, um, micro Slayer exciter is running at. It's uh, one to two megahertz, and uh, we vary the frequency here. You'll see this go down or up. I put my hand on this knob, it changes things too, so that's why you're seeing this go kind of weird. And the waveform is just a sine wave. You know, there's nothing fancy about that. Yeah, I was kind of surprised that it wasn't more spectacular. It was just a sine wave. Anyway, um, yeah, it's, it runs uh, low megahertz on this particular one. And uh, you can't see this because it's daylight. But I'm just using uh, that 27 LED panel on a volt and a half. And uh, it's on. But, uh, I'll turn this down. Maybe you can see these go off here. See them go off. Come on. Anyway, the um, the thing runs in the low megahertz range. So I just want to let people know where this is at. This is not up in the 12 megahertz range, but I have another one here that I built that um, is a little bit better to show this with. I'll turn this one off. And you notice I've just got a coil of wire on the probe. I don't recommend you guys hook this up to your your circuit because you'll you'll mess up your scope. So I just use a loop pickup, and that's the best way to go on this. Dr. Stifler clued us in on that a long time ago, that uh, you don't want to hook your scope up to this thing because of the situation going on. So Anyway, this is uh, the one I built here, and this one uh, um, is a little bit different because i got the tunable inductor here that uh, tunes this thing here. And it's also got a neon on it, too. But... Uh, uh, this one runs at a little bit different frequency. Let me see if I can show this to you here. Move this around a bit. And you can see there that that's running uh, down there around uh, 5 megahertz. Let me change this a little bit here. You see the spike, and you see that's uh, three, four, three to five megahertz. Let me change this around. There it goes on up a ways and back down a ways. And uh, this is uh, in really in resonance around uh, four and a half or so. Same kind of waveform, sine wave. But anyway, that's uh, that's where these things run at. They run in this uh, low megahertz range, and. Um, a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys that are trying to replicate this can uh, replicate these. They're not that hard really. It's just the hookup on, on this thing right here. Uh, if it doesn't work, just reverse these two leads right here. And then uh, if it's still not working, maybe you have a bad transistor or something. But uh, it's a pretty darn simple circuit. There's not much to it. Okay, thanks for watching.